All right, section 3.3, .3, properties of logarithms. There's this thing called the change of base formula. Pretty cool. It's going to make your life easier. Um, Cody, I'll wait till you're done. Okay, let me know when you're done, and then I'll get started. I am done. Oh, you are? Okay, thank you. Um, the change of base formula just says this. If you have a logarithm that doesn't have base, that is not base 10, we've talked about a lot of them already, but you've never had to actually change it to something different. So if you have, why oh, I do that every single time I start this? Log base A. In other words, you if you have some logarithm that does not have base 10, it's not base 10, some other base, you're going to do this thing called the change of base formula to it. It just says this, that you change whatever logarithm it is that you have that is not base 10, you change it so that it is base 10, and, you, and, and the way you do that is you use this conversion. This conversion says you take the log of some base value of this number, and you divide it by the log of that same base number, divided by, or to the log base B of this base number over here. So in the base value that you're going to use in the change of base formula, is a 10. And then it becomes a calculator problem, because you guys know the calculator does everything in base 10. So if you can change something that is not in base 10 to base 10, it just becomes a button pressing issue. So let's talk about an example of that. I'll get you guys started. Examples. Um, same thing works when you are using natural logarithms too. All right, so we have log base 8 of 35. Can't do it because it's not base 10. Are you with me there? Yeah. So all you need to do is apply the change of base formula to it. And the change of base formula says you change it so that it, it, it is in base 10. So this just means that you do... <laughs> is it on eraser? Okay. Yeah. Log, log what? Base 10 of what number? 35. And you divide it by log base 10 of 8. Why am I not writing the 10 there? It's assumed. Yep, if it's not there, it's assumed to be 10. So don't write it. It's awkward to write it. Type it into your calculator. So you literally type in log 35. The only thing I need to stress to you guys is this. When you type in logarithm on your calculator, a parenthesis automatically shows up. You need to make sure that you close off your parenthesis. You get 1.70. Did you close off your parenthesis before the 35? Yeah. All right, yeah. And the same thing on the bottom. You don't have to close off the 8, but a parenthesis will show up. Type in 8. What do you get again? 1.071. Yeah. And if it was 0.9. Seven. Right, 1.71. Same thing here, log base two of 49, guys. What are you going to do? Log, and then you put it in. 49, and you divide it by the log of C. Of two. Log of two. All right, I just want to quickly show you, too, that you don't have to use a common logarithm. In other words, like log base 10, you don't have to use that. You could use natural logarithms, too. What does that mean to you, natural logarithms? Ln. Ln, yeah. We have log base 4 of 40. You don't have to do base 10. You could instead do this, ln 40 divided by the ln, the ln of 4. Number two, if you wanted to, you could do log of 100 and divide it by the log of 9. What is, I never asked for answers. What is the ln of 40 divided by the ln of 4? 2.66. What is it? 2.66. 2.66, thank you.
And then ln of 100 divided by ln 9, what is that? 2.09. Well, remember that the, the, the change of base formula says that you just have to change it so that the base values are the same. You just have to change it so the, so the base value is the same. LN really means log base E. So both of these LNs are log base E. And there is a feature on your calculator that you can just, you know, you type in LN. You know, you wouldn't want to change it so, it, so that they would both be base 3, because how do you do base 3? How do you do the log of base 3 on your calculator? You don't. You don't. So you change it to something that you can do on your calculator. Does that make sense? Log base 10, calculator does it. LN, calculator does it. Base 3, calculator doesn't do it. So could you have done LN in the first example? Yes. You could have in these two. You could have done LN. You can do either one. Yes, that's what, I, that's what I'm saying. You could do either one. Okay, I could have done LN up here. I could have just done log base 2, or excuse me, log base 10 of the second two examples. So you can, Were you going to say something, Louise? Could you do like log on the top and then LN on the bottom? Or something? No. Half because then they then the bases aren't the same. Oh. Ln is log base e, log is log base.